Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about indexing the set pattern. The set pattern is obtained from TM analysis or TM measurements. Here we can see a ring pattern. This ring pattern is obtained when the sample is polycrystalline and we are going to index the plane shown in this ring pattern. So for this first we have to set the scale. For that go to analysis, set scale, click to remove scale, press ok. Then zoom the image by pressing plus so that we can select the scale. Select this straight tool, press shift and select this complete scale. Now go to analysis, set scale, we know the known distance is 2 and the unit is 1 by nanometer. Now press minus to zoom out. Now before measuring the diameter or radius of this particular ring, we have to set measurements or we have to change this, we have to select the fit ellipse and display label. Now select this ellipse tool, press shift. And select this ok. Press M to get the results. Once again, press Shift and select the second circle. Press M, press Shift. Select the third circle, press M, now we have uh, selected all the circles and we have received the data, here in this data we can see the major and minor. Uh, values and this approximate they are approximately same. We have to save this data. We'll open the saved data. Here, as we can see. There is a minor difference between major and minor, so we will only consider the minor the major. And delete the other two columns. This major is actually 1 by D or diameter of the ring, which is in 1 by nanometer unit. So, 1 by R would be 1 this. We have to divide this 1 by D by 2 to get the radius. Now, as this is 1 by R, R would be its reciprocal. And this R is in nanometer. To convert it into M strong, we will multiply it with 10. 
with this is okay and these values are the interplanar spacing d of the sample under consideration now we will com compare these d values or interplanar spacing values with the standard jcpds card and get the hkl values or planes Here you can see the first is 3.3 which is approximately or it is very close to 3.51 and so the first plane is one zero one plane 2.24 which is close to 2.3 Three two and so it is one one two. The third plane one point seven nine, which is close to one point eight nine. So it's two zero zero plane, and finally one point five five, which is close to. One point six six, so it could be two one one plane. So in this way, we can index the shade pattern. Thank you.